Ramon, I can take you to school, but I'm leaving in 10 minutes, okay? This was such an interesting film. I loved the surrealist qualities that it had uh, to illustrate kind of what was going on in Ramon's mind and how his world was um, being distorted by depression and how, you know, the way that his depression was manifesting um, in his mind looked a lot different from the way that uh, Annabelle's depression was manifesting in her mind, you know, as she was kind of being, you know, messed with by this like bully of her own imagination, whereas his was kind of just like a dark, kind of like shadowy figure that didn't really have a face. It was kind of just more of a feeling. Um, the fact that they both kind of had these invisible uh, dark passengers, uh, but their kind of darkness and depression was personified in different ways. I thought that was just really interesting and uh, very well executed as well. I was astounded by the quality of this short. I think cinematically it was beautiful and it looked like such a high quality feature, like a big budget. Um, and I could see this, you know, being expanded to something of that sort. Um, just the message behind it of seeing these two teens grapple with depression and how they can manifest or physicalize into actual beings um, was so interesting. And it really was an artistic way to explore this common issue. Um, and I think all of that led up beautifully to the you know PSA at the end. And it w that was artfully and poignantly worked in. Um, it never felt like, oh, I'm watching a PSA. It felt like I'm watching a beautiful film and this happens to be teaching me um, a lesson or I'm learning something from this. So really well done. And I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. I thought that this was a really, really effective depiction of depression. Um, it was, I, I picked up on what we were talking about almost immediately here. And I thought that, um, this story of these two people affected by this disease in two very different but very recognizable ways uh, coming together and sort of finding one another amidst this, you know, sea of, of negativity and of other people not really understanding what's going on uh, made for a really beautiful story. Um, I, I thought that the effects that you were using were really, really cool and really effective. Um, and I thought that, um, the gradual realization that Annabelle's, uh, friend is really a figment of her imagina uh, ma imagination was deployed really, really well. The sound really sets the tone for the supernatural elements that exist within the piece. We follow two different characters that are suffering from two different mental health disorders, um, which, you know, in suit, like, provide different monsters, it really did seem like they were out of this world. Like, they had a really good chemistry together, and the other wor world had a chemistry within that world. And it really felt like there was a sort of disconnect between the two. Yet, together, they were kind of going through this tragedy together, in a sense. Um, it seemed as if the normal world was separate from theirs, uh, and you can see the detachment from these characters because of that. It's even further apart than you could even imagine. I love the art therapy, the art therapy moments within this piece. Some of them were even haunting. And as I'm reflecting, we didn't share PSAs like this one when I was in high school. So I'm really happy to see that there are students coming together out there creating a climate for their fellow classmates and showing their way to destigmatize mental health and giving them the tools that they need to get assistance. It had an absolute cinematic quality to it. Um, strong writing, great performances, uh, just good visual quality which was why I was almost surprised um, to sort of see a PSA at the end, which I thought was really uh, delicately worked in there. Um, right off the bat, uh, I was intrigued with the sort of that black monster that he's struggling with. Um, I, I, I couldn't quite piece together what I was getting into, but I was absolutely satisfied with the result. Um, just a really strong film, it shows a, a really keen filmmaking sensibility. I thought the cast did an excellent job. You could really sense the toll that depression was having on the leads. They were shaky and insecure. The idea for the hideous CGI monster was memorable. I am sure depression can surround someone in a fearsome way. I was glad to see the encouraging teens at the end and the contact numbers for help. This was a very interesting way in showing depression, especially depression in teens. 
a dark cloud hanging over them, a voice inside their head, or as the credit said, a monster. It's not exactly how I describe depression as an adult, but it's something that is debilitating, and this film showed that, that there are significant changes where one girl is getting help, but the boy has the warning signs and nobody's helping him. Except for that one girl who's already suffering from it. She understands it. Mental illness is something we don't talk about. It's typically the people who do talk about it are the ones who don't really have it. And those of us who do have it don't always talk about it. When things are going wrong, it's usually to look for the signs.